One of the herbs I really love in the garden is this onion. It's all, it goes by many names, walking onion, multiplier onion, or Egyptian onion. I don't know where it gets the Egyptian name, but it's called that. This was originally here on the farm when I moved here 30 years ago. The, um, the older couple who lived here had this in the corner somewhere. We've been keeping it ever since. What's wonderful about it is it comes up in the early spring and it's just beautiful, beautiful foliage. And then it forms these almost like deer-like antlers, if you will, on the top. And it forms bulblets. And so as the, here in summer, as the plant, as the bulblets grow and mature, the mother stalk gets weak, falls over, and then the, the, the young ones sprout. Now what you can do with this plant, it's very strong onion flavor, but you can eat the base, you can eat the stem, and you can even eat these uh, little bulblets. We have tried, if you like a hot onion, this is for you. I just, it's a beautiful ornamental. It's a little on, its, on, its, on the ground today because it's more in the multiplier form than the growing form. Back here, you'll see some others that fell down earlier in the spring and they're starting to sprout. These are babies that were on the top of the mom plant and now falling down and, and starting to sprout here. So hence they walk because as they, they just keep moving through the garden. But it's not invasive. It's an easy plant to control. It's not like it's going to be walking into your house by the end of the day. It's just, just a cool plant. It's a pretty plant. You can eat it. You can uh, use the stalks in a flower arranging. They're kind of cool in a flower arrangement. You cut this short. Whoops, I'm sorry. And you cut that and put that in with some other things. It's a sure conversation piece at your dinner to have this sticking out of your vase.